Hello, Janine here, and how are you on this wonderful day? As a business uh, guide and a psychic healer and a coach, I love helping you understand why you're stuck, where the frustration is from, and how to shift this to become unstoppable. And that is why I'm discussing gratitude and gratitude journaling. Gratitude is an energy. It's a feeling. It is normally comes about due to something that has happened and experienced, something physical very often. Whereas appreciation is, you may not always be grateful for it or be enjoyed it, but it adds value to your life and it adds value to your life. People interchangeably use gratitude and appreciation without a full awareness of what it is. When we express gratitude, we shift energy when we are feeling like every the world's falling in on us and everybody hates us and life is not turning out for us expressing just three with emotion three things of gratitude shift your energy and opens you up to possibilities in a way that you're actually not even aware of and this is very profound and very very important and when you pick up that pen this is my current gratitude journal i've still got a way to go um, I use it every morning and when you pick up a pen and you start right I like using a pink pen so you can use a pink pen or you can use a blue pen or I've got a purple pen as well I've got a turquoise one it just depends on what you want to use it makes such a difference and when you can shift that energy it opens you up to so much more in the way of prosperity abundance releasing lack and when you actually sit down and you start keeping a gratitude journal, there are several things that really, really make a difference. Now, I've made notes. So I'm going to look at it. It helps you to increase your positivity. And this has tremendous health benefits. It helps with blood. It has been shown scientifically to help with blood pressure, blood sugar, so many different things, digestion. That's not Janine saying it. This is what the scientists have said it. It also helps you shift from a negative low vibrational emotion working your way up the vibrational chart towards a more higher vibration and what that does is it makes you open and receptive to ideas of moving forward ideas to receive income ideas to work with other people ideas to shift a relationship that may be causing stress and strain gratitude makes a huge difference when it comes to positivity it also helps you to increase your self-esteem because you start being grateful that you are able to do things. Me, I'm very grateful that I could make um, dinner the other night and it was really good, it tasted good and it looked good and I served it well. So you actually are being grateful for things that you've achieved. So you are actually celebrating what you have achieved. This has an incredibly positive effect on your life and for some of my clients when I was working in wellness it was an achievement and a celebration for them just to get out of bed go brush their teeth and uh, to get up and people they were grateful for that because it was definitely a difference from where they were before what it also does is when you are thankful for something you are now focusing on what you're thankful for what you focus on grows so you then send a message to the universe saying, wow, I want more things to be grateful for. And it's when you are able to do this that, oh my word, amazing things happen. And it's just absolutely incredible because where focus goes, energy flows. So the more grateful you are, the more thankful you are, the more you celebrate your wins, the more wins you will have, the more you will have to be grateful for, and the more you will have to be thankful for. That is how life works. So wouldn't you rather focus on what you're grateful for than what you're not grateful for? Because it works conversely as well. If you focus on what you're not grateful for, you're going to get more of that as well. And that is why we do junk journaling where we write what we're feeling when we're unhappy and we burn it, we get it out of our bodies, we get it out of our lives, we burn it, and then we replace it with what am I grateful for, what am I thankful for? 
What is the emotion to me of gratitude? What is the feeling of gratitude? What can I appreciate being grateful for? And it also helps you to sleep better. 15 minutes before you go to bed at night, being grateful for things that happen during your day increases your serotonin, your feel-good hormone, which is also your hormone that helps uh, um, trigger your melatonin, which helps you sleep. And isn't that an amazing way? Because that way you go to bed in a high vibrational feeling, which means the chances are you're going to wake up feeling better. And when you do a 21-day or a 30-day or a 40-day gratitude um, journaling uh, discipline, wow, you journal before you start and then you journal when you're finished and tell me the difference. And also, now obviously it's going to make you happy because you're sleeping better, you're feeling better, you're celebrating wins. It also shows you that life is not all doom and gloom. Um, and people who write, the research has shown that when people keep a gratitude journal, they are able to see more potential. They are able to feel into more potential and work towards more potential. And definitely it reduces stress because again, you're getting more and more and more in the long run and it helps you live a healthier life. It helps you handle stress because instead of going, oh, woe is me, you go, hmm, where can I be grateful in this situation? Okay, I get to do the dishes. I have running water. I have running hot water. I have a sink to do it in. I have a roof over my head. Um, I get to create a landing page and... Uh, for me, this used to be a huge stress. And then I started saying, I am so grateful for my computer. I'm grateful for friends I can reach out to who help me. Wow, I'm so grateful for what I'm learning. And then I found somebody who could really help me with landing pages. And it just literally flows. And several times people will tell me they wake up. And I see um, Antoinette's just posted, I feel heavy when I wake up in the morning. And it's a horrible feeling. When you wake up feeling heavy, the best thing to do is immediately, as you wake up, start saying hmm I'm grateful for my bed I'm grateful for my clothes I'm grateful for the roof over my head because as we shift immediately into that attitude of gratitude it shifts that heavy feeling and people I want to tell you a secret when you have a heavy feeling it's generally not yours send it back to the person I, I normally send it back to mother earth ask for it to come back to me as love light laughter and life and I'm then very grateful. When I wake up with a churning in my pit of my stomach, I go, hmm, I am grateful that I have challenges to face today because it means I'm doing something right. It means I'm moving forward. And with gratitude, with knowledge, I can shift it. And that is, and then I pick up and I start journaling and it makes such an incredible difference. It really, really does. The other thing is uh, with gratitude, when somebody's irritating you start being grateful for them because when you're grateful for them they stop being irritating because you start seeing their good points you start seeing who they are you start seeing where you do the same thing and it's when you do the same thing um, that it is absolutely incredible how you are able to move forward I know the other day I um was driving and this person was cutting in and out and I started saying wow I'm so grateful for this person because I'm now able to send them love I'm able to send them laughter and do you know what this person's driving changed was it because of me I doubt it How, but I don't doubt it actually I, because I've had several experiences like this and gratitude just makes such an incredible difference and like I say when you write it down oh my word a gratitude journal you can go back and read or you can go back and see um, under announcements there if you aren't already subscribed to my mailing list I'm going to be sending out a gratitude meditation either Thursday or Friday um, for you to start using I will also be posting this week gratitude uh, journal prompts and I would like you please to Start maintaining a journal, even if you just write down three things and the reason why. So you don't just say, I'm thankful for my bed. You say, Thank I'm thankful for my bed because it's soft, it's warm, it's cozy, and it makes me feel good. Um, 
I am grateful that I can look at this person and be very glad I don't have their challenges and have a new perspective. When you keep a gratitude journal, it really, really helps to shift your perspective. It also helps you to focus on what really matters and it helps you to be more self-aware. You start saying, oh, I was grateful for this yesterday. How about I could be grateful for the birds singing at five o'clock in the morning? It means that the ecosystem's working, that things are working well. Where can I um, be grateful uh, that yesterday I was able to shift my energy and today I can move forward. Where am I grateful that both my children are doing things that they enjoy and it makes my heart happy because I know that they are then able to move forward in life. Especially when you journal at night, do a gratitude journal at night, it really, really helps to calm you and you really, really wake up feeling so much better in the morning. I So I normally verbalize my journal in the morning and write it at night. And if I don't write it at night, then I will still verbalize it and put it down. I like to write it down so I can go back and I can read what I was grateful for and why. Um, I'm so grateful for our, um, I can't read my handwriting. Oh, I'm so grateful to release the fears around my income this month as I received extra clients, I received extra people and gratitude journaling has made such a difference to me. I'm so grateful to be able to reflect and to have electricity so that I can see to write in my journal without the aid of a candle um, what was the other thing that let's just see another one here oh i'm so grateful for this is i got some new shirts i'm so grateful for my new clothes i feel really good i feel great and it helps me feel much more comfortable meeting people and doing facebook lives i am so grateful for my family for the support they give me for the love they give me and the encouragement they give me and those are the sort of things that i journal on you can heaven's sake you can even be grateful that you your hands work that your feet work all these things and it can sometimes just be wow i'm grateful that there's a new movie that i want to watch you can also say i am because i know it brings me enjoyment or you can say hmm i'm grateful for the group i belong to because the ladies within it are incredibly supportive and it helps me to understand where i'm going and how i'm going Hi Rosemary, how are you? We are talking about gratitude journals and why gratitude shifts our energy faster and helps us move into a more aligned, more centered feeling. Then a gratitude journal with breathing is absolutely incredible because you... And people, the important thing is to feel that gratitude. It's no good just writing it. In the beginning, that's how you can start just writing it. But then you feel the love. You feel the gratitude. And if it's not yours, think back to a memory where you felt gratitude, where you felt love, where you felt good. And bring that feeling into the future, now, into the present. Gratitude also helps you stay humble we did not have electricity the whole day yesterday and uh, i got reading done i've got a whole lot of stuff done uh, and also my generator i had to switch it off to put petrol in and then it was too hot to switch back on so when the electricity came back on i was grateful for the workmen who had repaired it i was grateful for the engineers who sorted it and i was extremely grateful that i could have a really great cup of coffee because it made me feel good it tasted good it was just amazing and that's what I popped in my journal and you know what it can be what appears to be silly things I'm grateful for my Labrador how he makes me laugh how he makes me feel loved and when I'm in a situation that's serious or um, that my I can feel my mood is going boof into the floor I say okay I'm grateful for this experience because I know I don't want it and I can switch it and I I can start being grateful for what I do want and again I'm going to stress again what you focus on grows what you focus on is where your energy goes so if you focus on oh, I don't have enough you're telling the universe please send me less 
take away my money, cause an accident, let people steal my stuff, because that is what you focused on, not having enough. Whereas if you say, wow, I'm so grateful for my cell phone, I'm so grateful for the electricity, I'm really grateful for my paintings, my um, money flowing into my bank account, the clients I'm able to serve and help them to grow and move forward, guess what? You get more clients, you get more, well, I don't need more pictures and paintings, thank you, I enjoy, oh, then no, yes, I don't mind having more pictures and paintings, um, but I, I'm just using that as an example. I'm extremely grateful that I can make my home beautiful, and I go and I see, hmm, where's there a heavy feeling when I write this, and then I say, what can I do to shift that heavy feeling? Oh, be grateful for um, the fact that I have curtains on my window. I am grateful that I have learned the knowledge that I have gained in my business. I am grateful for the knowledge that I've gained from working with my clients. And as they grow, I learn and they learn. And I'm extremely grateful that this then adds to the collective consciousness and raises the consciousness around both of us, or if I'm in a group, raises the consciousness in the group, because that is really something to be grateful for, because as we all raise our consciousness, so many better things flow into all of our lives, because a rising tide lifts all ships, it doesn't leave one ship here and one ship there unless it's in a dry dock, and then the water can't get in to lift it, and that is what we are doing when we are when we aren't being grateful we are putting ourselves in a dry dock where we can't get out to the sea of abundance the sea of prosperity the sea of wellness the sea of clients what do you want to be okay sometimes you may need to be in a dry dock to be repaired so that's maybe not such a great analogy but when they want to sail the ship they've got to let the water in so let the water of gratitude in as you've done your healing and now allow yourself to heal as you sail forward out to meet that ship that you're desiring i hope this has made sense thank you for joining me and have an incredible an amazing day. Please pop your questions below and I'll get back to you. Bye-bye.